Yeah, my, na my name is Tom Henriksen. I'm a Midwestern U.S. guy from Wisconsin, and I've been involved with the industry now for over 60 years. And I've been with Chris Paul and, and Hercules only for about the last year or so. Um, I started out doing massive sulfide exploration in Wisconsin. And so that's where that was my start out with Kennecott, working with Kennecott many years ago. And then from that point, I've I've been all been I've worked in six different continents really over my lifetime and my earliest work was my, my PhD dissertation was done in Idaho and around the around Hercules Silver actually uh, in a metallized zone a silver mineral zone that goes for about forty miles and Hercules is is on one end of it on one end I worked in the mineral district I worked at Bay Horse a lot of different properties along that silver zone in this rhyolite. Which is which is the Hercules rhyolite, and which Chris introduced me to, and I, I I actually contacted him, and I was trying to think of how I got with Hercules, but I, I know because of my PhD dissertation you know, sixty years ago, that's how I knew about it, and I I, I read about the company in the in the uh, journal, you know, Northern Miner or whatever, and I I contact them see if they need any help, and so that's how I got with uh, with them, but in between in the over the past years I've been involved with this with uh, early exploration in in the Constancia and Zafranel porphyry coppers in Peru. I was involved with a big borate discovery in Bolivia, and I've been involved with gold and silver in in Peru as well over the many many years. And and then I uh, was working in Europe and West Africa as well, working on different different kinds of deposits over there, mineral deposits. But now, now that I'm here, I've been looking around in Idaho, and it's it's kind of an interesting situation, I should tell you, because Idaho's got four developing mines. So there's Delamar, Black Pine, the Bear Track District, and, and Midas all being developed. And it, that's, people in the United States really don't understand it, or Canada. And the, the area at, at the Hercules mine, the reason that that's an interesting property is because it's got a huge about a, a geochemical rock geochemical anomaly. The drilling this last year, which I was involved with uh, briefly, we haven't got the results yet back, but there's a tremendous IP anomaly underneath all these veins on, on the Hercules mine. And uh, I believe it's going to be a big deposit found. There might even be a VMS type deposit, but it's under, it's on the rhyolite andesite contact. The, the be the, the Jurassic on the overlying of the Triassic greenstones. And, uh, that's going to happen this year, and they're, they, it's a really exciting program that's going. The reason I decided to work for Hercules is because it's right in my PhD area, and not only that, I've worked in the area. It's a it's a great property. The whole the property area has been looked at by other companies, but not in the same way, not in the same way that Chris and, and the group from Hercules Silver is looking at it. And they've also got porphyry copper type mineralization there too, as well, and. I've got I've had experience in all these kinds of deposits, and uh, yeah, it's a it's a great area. What excites me most is the high silver values, very high silver values, and the whole metallized zone at forty miles of rhyolite. This is the best silver values along that that uh, old trend, which has been known for many many years, and. The initial drilling they did last year, although the results haven't come back, I'm sure I saw the core. I can see tetrahedrite and other silver minerals in the core. And so these vein type uh, mineralization that's originally been found have never been followed down to where there could be flat lying or let's say stratiform or stratovone type silver at depth. This is what the, the IP anomaly, the induced polarization and geophysical anomaly tells us. That's exciting. And uh when that gets drilled, we're going to find out what that anomaly is, you know, and uh, it's very, it's from a geologist standpoint, it's exciting. So um, that was done while I was working there last year, that geophysical work was being done at that time. And uh, yeah, we're, 
looking forward to getting a, getting the the initial drilling back and then getting ready to drill this year on the project. And I, I'm I'm a consultant. I'm I'm, I'm not a employee of Hercules Silver. I work for many. I work in Turkey now, and I work in other places right now. But this is one of my principal clients, and they have one of the best properties that that's going now in in the Western United States. It's one of the best ones that I've seen. And, uh, you know, that, that's where, that's why it's, that's why I'm here, you know. Colin Spence was my award. A good friend of mine had died in a helicopter accident in, in Philippines. That's what the, the, uh, the British Columbia, the AME and BC gave me that award in his honor. And, um, yeah, they, it's, it's given away annually, but, uh, yeah, it was a it was a big discovery at the time, I and mean, this has been what I say. Night is uh, I think 2018 when I got that. Actually, it was awarded in 2019. Very, very distinguished award, and very happy to to get that and share it with Fierus and the guys from Maiden Selick. They they they're the ones that actually did the drilling. So, um, yeah, it was a good good award. That's why, and that's why I like Turkey. A lot of discoveries are going to happen in Turkey, but the United States is just getting started too. So, you know, it's a uh, it's good it's it's a good profession to be in right now, and I'm I'm glad to be here. Yet still, still kicking. The boys in the band from Hercules Silver they've got an exciting crew, very exciting project, and. Uh, I just look forward to helping out whenever I can on the project I'm, um, and helping them on their evaluation of that project and the geophysics. So, yeah, it's going to be a big year I, for them and for, for me. Hopefully I get some time with them, be able to work work with them on this project. And uh, it's just out of Cambridge, Idaho, you know, it's out of Cambridge, not too far from Perpetua's property, from Midas, from the old Midas gold property, which has got five million ounces of gold, you know. So it's it's not too far away from there. And uh, very good farming area. It's a big ranch land area. So it's a, uh, and there's a lot of good people in this areas of Cambridge and Council. So it's a good area to work. Mm -hmm.